Hi everyone, Jared Johnson here. I wanted to show you how to set up an alert on MetaTrader 4. Open up your MetaTrader 4 and down here in the area where you can see your trade, account history, uh, all of those details, go to alerts. You'll see this nice wide open space right here and we're going to right click and create alert. Now it's just that simple and maybe many of you have used this before but it's just a great little way to alert us when price reaches a certain area. Maybe we don't want to set a pending order, maybe we want to re-examine the market when it reaches a certain area and then, um, and then decide if we want to take the trade from there and that's where the alerts are great. So there's a couple of different actions here that we need to keep in mind. We need to make sure this box is enabled. We need to make sure that uh, we've selected what kind of action we do want, whether we want a notification or an email or a text message uh, or just the sound. Now the email and text message is always good, but it's a little more complicated to set up and I'll show you that in just one moment. So a sound will be good. This will notify us through the speakers on our computer with uh, some sort of alert, that, uh, a sound that we pick that the market has reached our certain area. Um, and then you want to, uh, whatever currency pair you're looking at, go to it. We're on the pound yen here. Um, expiration, if you do not want to be alerted after a certain time or date, you can use that. I don't use that, but it's there if you want to use that. And then we just need to tell the alert what to tell us. Uh, do we want to know when the market is greater than the bid or lesser than the bid? or greater than the ask price or lesser than the ask price or do we want to notify us at a certain time. Now sometimes it's easy to forget which one is the greater than and the lesser than. Uh, I forget that sometimes so if you do, if you are like me, you can just Google greater than symbol and it'll give you a quick reminder which one that is. Maybe I'm the only one that forgets the greater and the lesser than but in case you're like me, there's a little bit of help there. So remember our bid and ask are these two prices right here. Honestly, it's not gonna matter too terribly much which one you use, whether it's the bid or the ask, because uh, they're only a couple of pips apart. Uh, it's the difference of spread, but if you wanna get really specific, our bid is the buy and the ask is the sell. So if you want it higher uh, than according to this price, then you set bid. If you want it higher according to that price, you set ask. So that is um, how we'll tell it to notify us that uh, the market is higher or lower. So for example, um, this bid right here, we want it lesser than, we have the lesser than uh, selected, so we'll say lesser than 169.70. Uh, because it's lesser than 169.70. So now if I hit OK, you immediately hear that chime. This is our less than 169.70. It's alerted me and it will alert me a few times. Every couple of seconds it will alert uh, me letting me know that it is at that area. It's reached that area. So remember our, our lesser than and greater than. If we're looking for a breakout and it's greater than you know, a certain resistance or lesser than a certain support, uh, we can just program any of those details in there. And as this alerts us, uh, hopefully it'll wake us up or, or notify us that that's happening. Um, and it will alert us a couple of times uh, until, uh, until we turn it off. Now, you just go right here, you can go to delete to turn that off. Here's an old one as well, I can delete that. And that's how it will alert us through our computer that price has reached a certain point. If you're feeling very tech savvy, you can go up here to tools and options and you can go to email and this is how it will notify you through email. Uh, if you have, this does not work on Gmail, I verified this by the way, because MetaTrader does not have secure enough settings uh, to be uh, working through Gmail. Um, but maybe the mail server that you use does have it, so it would be mail.smtp, or excuse me, smtp. Uh, you know, Outlook or um, Hotmail or Yahoo.com, and then you're going to have a port number, colon, some port number. And then your login will be your email address, your password will be the password to your email, and then from will also be your email address, and to will be your cell phone number, for example. And if you do not know what your email version of your cell phone number is, send yourself an, a text message to your own email from your cell phone. So just go to your regular text messaging on your cell phone, send yourself an email, and it'll come through as your phone number at you know, att.net or whoever your cell phone provider is, and you can put that in here. And that is how it will send you an alert to your mobile phone. Again, I don't use this because my uh, the type of email I use does not uh, support uh, the security settings here.
but that's okay because I'm okay with my computer just making some chimes and making some noises and letting me know that uh, price has reached a certain area. And that is how you set an alert. I hope that's helpful. Good luck with everything. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know.